often we do not realize, but we are also contributing to soil pollution. Hence, it is important to know how to prevent soil pollution, so that small measures taken by each individual will go a long way in protecting the soil and in turn protecting the earth. One of the major side effects of industrialization is pollution. Till man was dependent on his own capacities for different types of work, pollution was no doubt under control. However, with industrialization, air, water and soil were contaminated. Today pollution has reached alarming extent. If measures are not taken to curb pollution, the day is not far, when the world will be destroyed. If one has to look at it, a small measure from each individual will go in long way and bringing in at least some relief. It is common to see people talking about air and water pollution, but the required amount of attention is not paid to soil pollution. Pollution of soil is having a devastating effect on the agriculture land as well as people consuming products grown in such land. It is very difficult to pinpoint the exact effects of soil pollution on humans, animals or even plants, yet the effects are out there for everyone to see. Tips to prevent soil pollution. Toxic chemical compounds, salts, radioactive agents, toxins and other waste contribute to soil pollution. These have adverse effects on plant and animal health. Soil contains both organic as well as inorganic material. The organic material is formed due to decaying of plant and animal matter. This often makes up the uppermost layer of soil. The organic soil such as rocks, has taken over thousands of years to be formed. The top layer is made up of organic soil, while the layers below are inorganic soil. Pollution has gradually reached the inorganic layers as well. There are different types of soil pollution, namely agricultural soil pollution, industrial waste causing soil pollution, urbanization causing soil pollution. These different types of pollution cause the fertility of the soil to reduce and mineral content in the soil to be destroyed. Therefore, measures have to be taken for preventing soil pollution. Promote biofertilizers. To increase agricultural yield, most farmers took to using chemical fertilizers. No doubt that the yield did indeed increase, but at the cost of the soil losing its fertility. To restore the fertility of the soil to what it was, will take a very long time, however, one has to start at some point of time. Drastic measures are required for the same. Farmers should be encouraged to start using biofertilizers. The microorganisms in these fertilizers will help in increasing the fertility of the soil. Promote use of biopesticides and fungicides. To avoid soil pollution, it is important that along with fertilizers, farmers should shift to biopesticides and fungicides, also known as herbicides. These products will take a little longer to react, but they do not have adverse effect on the soil. It is best to use manure both as a fertilizer as well as pesticide, as it has far less side effects as opposed to its chemical counterpart. Reduce toxic waste. If one has to look at the soil pollution facts, it will be seen that toxic waste has a big role to play in soil pollution. Hence, industrial toxic waste should be treated to reduce its toxicity before it is disposed of. At the same time, Responsible methods should be used for disposing off the waste. The best, however, is to avoid the use of harmful chemicals unless they are of extreme importance. Recycle waste. Although a lot of propaganda has been carried out about recycling waste, not many measures have been taken about the same. If each family has to take it upon themselves to recycle waste, the land pollution caused due to landfills will be reduced considerably. The land so saved can be used constructively for a number of better tasks. Reuse. After plastic was invented, people thought it was convenient to opt for plastic containers, bags, etc., which could be disposed of after use. However, plastic is one of the main causes of soil pollution, as it takes a very long time to disintegrate. Therefore, people should consider shifting to reusable containers like glass cotton bags, etc. Although paper does disintegrate faster, a lot of trees are cut for producing paper bags. Therefore, it is best to opt for cloth bags. 
Similarly, instead of using tissue papers in the kitchen, etc., one should opt using cloth napkins, handkerchief, etc. This will go a long way in reducing landfills. Opt for organic products. There is no doubt that the organic products are costly as opposed to the chemically grown products. But choosing the organic products will encourage more organic production. This will help in preventing soil pollution. Deforestation. To prevent soil pollution, deforestation measures have to be undertaken at rapid pace. Soil erosion is caused when there are no trees to prevent the top layer of the soil from being transported by different agents of nature like water and air. At the same time, measures should be taken to avoid overcropping and overgrazing, as it leads to flood and soil erosion and further deterioration of the soil layer. I hope at the end of this write-up, you are aware of the measures to be taken to prevent soil pollution. Instead of waiting for someone else to do the work for you, it is best to take measures yourself. Children should also be educated not only in academics, but also with examples, so that they understand the importance of curbing pollution.